Who doesn't like templates? They make the process of getting from A to B a whole lot quicker and it also will spark creativity in your mind. And so in this video, I'm going to share with you how you can get access to a hundred free templates for the new Elementor pop-up feature. Now Elementor provides beautiful templates, but sometimes you just might want more. I mean, who doesn't benefit from having access to more templates? So I'm going to go through all of that in this video. Hi, my name is Adam from WPCrafter.com where I make WordPress tutorial videos for non-techies. If you're new here, consider clicking on that subscribe button, click on the notification bell to not miss a thing. So what am I talking about guys? It's so hard to not it's getting so hard to not have this plugin on your website and I'm talking about Envato elements so go to your web browser go to wpcrafter.com slash elements and it's going to take you right on over to this page let's take a look you can come here and it's going to tell you everything you get for free and you get a ton for free and uh, all you have to do is click on this download button to go ahead and download everything. It's going to be a plugin and we're going to install that in a moment. But as you scroll down, you're going to see everything that you get. You get a ton of page templates, but what they just added was pop-up templates. And I'm going to show you how to access them and how to use them in this video. Now, uh, Envato Elements does have a paid plan and it gives you this list of things. I don't have the paid plan. I don't have any plans on getting it. It might interest you and I think this is what their incentive is for providing all this straight up value for free. So it's graphics and presentation templates, WordPress themes and plugins, stock photos, design assets, video templates. I should check it out for that. Music tracks, sound effects, courses, and eBooks offer $16.50 per month. Anyways, uh, that's probably why they're giving this all away for free. So here I am on this site. Now, if you've downloaded it, installing it is just a normal plugin. You would go to plugins right here, click on add new, find the file where you downloaded it on your computer, and activate it. Now, once you've activated it, you're gonna have a new menu icon right here that says elements. On first activation, it is gonna prompt you, ask you for your name and your email address, and you can opt out of receiving any kind of marketing related emails. Uh, you can make the choice that's best for you there. All right, so we have elements. I'm gonna go ahead and click into it. Now there's two ways to go ahead and add these pop-ups so that you could start using them. And I'm gonna go over both of them. So when you first click on elements, it shows you all these page templates. So they have all these page template sets and I covered that in a prior video. But if you hover over here where it says Elementor, there's an option that says blocks. Elementor has a feature called blocks, but that's where Elements has put their pop-up templates. So you see all these blocks, but instead I'm gonna to go to browse type and I'm gonna choose pop-up. And then it's gonna pull up a hundred pop-up templates. <laughs> it's just so many. Okay, you could scroll down. They've got pop-up templates for all kinds of types. Now, these are going to require Elementor Pro. So you have to have Elementor Pro. I have a link down below to that as well. So uh, we could just scroll on and choose one of these things. There's login, uh, pop-up templates, there's email opt-in, there are sale notifications. There's so many different templates that they're providing here for you. It's just nice to have other ideas. Okay, so why don't I go ahead and choose one. Here is one right here, Puppy Plus. I recently got my first dog. And then what happens is you just need to click on this button that says Import Pro Template. Now when you click on that, it takes a second and it's automatically gonna download and put it in the Elementor pop-ups screen for you. So we'll just give this another moment here. Uh, okay, it's done. And under Templates, there's the option for pop-ups and we can click here. And you can see here it is. So if I click on edit with Elementor, it's gonna jump me right on into this pop-up. I can make my changes, apply my conditions and triggers and be all good to go. And there you have it. And it's using all the native Elementor modules. So there's no additional thing you have to install in order to get this to work right. And that's all that there is to it. Now this that was one way of adding a new pop-up template from the elements pack. Let me show you the next way. So you would go to pop-ups, add new like you normally would, and you would give it a name. I just chose elements. I'll click on create templates. And here we are. Now these are Elementor's templates right here. And you can see they created some amazingly beautiful templates. One of the things I didn't see in the elements pack was these 
top many of these top bar bottom bar templates I really like those uh, those as well I find them very useful and can be used for lots of different purposes I really like this with Elementor the social share you could probably see that added on my website here soon now I thought there was a way let's see Oh, there it is. This icon right here, Envato Elements. Let's see if this works for pop-ups. I'm hoping it does. Okay, we did that. And so it pulled up the Envato Elements menu instead. And I'm still in Elementor. I could choose pop-ups. Let's see if it works like this. So here's a subscribe button. I'm going to click on that. Open pop-up templates. Let's see if that works. Nope, that doesn't work like that. So the only way to add a Elements template inside of Elementor Pro is to first go into Elements, go to Blocks, go to Pop-Ups, and then choose the one you want. That's the only way. I thought there might have been that other way of doing it like you can do with its templates. But uh, there's just so much that comes with Envato Elements. I know some of us, we're not probably the biggest fans of Envato uh, for some of some reasons, uh, but Envato Elements has really kind of changed the way that I look at it. I mean, this is a lot of value in this, this plugin, giving you lots of templates that will save a lot of time. Make sure though uh, that you read their license agreement so you can see what you can and cannot do with these. Um, I've talked to, to Envato about it. You can uh, use these in your websites, in your clients' websites, but I think you can't sell their templates. Uh, which why would you want to sell their template anyway? But that's I think the only restriction of what you can cannot do with Envato Elements. Hey, so that's all that I have for you in this video. If you don't have Elementor, you can visit wpcrafter.com slash Elementor. And what that will do is take you to my website where I'm going to offer to give you my free, uh, well, it's not free, uh, Elementor Accelerator training program. If you were to purchase Elementor Pro, I give you access to the Accelerator training program that I've created for Elementor for free. All the details are at that link. I'll also have it in the video description box down below. Hey, if if you guys have any other resources for pop-up templates like this, feel free to add it in the comment section down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.